Hello and welcome to another video about Python Easter eggs. In this one we're covering the anti-gravity Easter egg, which <laughs> is a bit self-referential, but anyway, let's jump into it and I'll show you what it's about. Okay, so the Easter egg is if you run Python dash M anti-gravity, uh, or if you just import this module, this actually happens as an import side effect. Uh, if you run this, oops, we need Python 3. It will open up a web browser to a XKD, XKCD comic about Python from a very, very long time ago. Um, I actually looked it up, and this comic, uh, is it 353? Uh, originally appeared in December of 2007, so quite a long time ago. Um, and <laughs> relatively quickly after adding this comic, oh, and the reason that it's anti-gravity is um, there's a there's a bit in the comic which says... I just typed import anti-gravity. I also sampled everything in the medicine cabinet for comparison. <laughs> um, but anyway, this um, this now opens this this uh, webcomic as a part of this. And um, let's see, user lib Python 3.8. I need to figure out nine would have worked as well. Uh, Anti-gravity.py. Um, and this is this is that side effect that happens here. Uh, there's also another function which has been introduced later, which is the uh, the Randall Monroe geohashing algorithm, which has been Im also implemented in, in CPython as well, um, which is from a different XKCD, XKCD. I don't know why I can't say XKCD today. A different XKCD comic. Um, and the interesting thing about the history of this is it was actually added during the Python 2, Python 3 era. Uh, so it was contributed in two different ways. Back when CPython was using SVN, way back when, um, and you'll see that it appears here as just Easter egg. Uh, if, if we check out the 2.7 branch, we'll get to see the original commit here. Live antigravity.py, um, and you'll see that it's you know. Uh, Skip added this in October of 2008, so it took about 10 months to show up in CPython, which I think is is pretty fun and pretty cheeky. Uh, but anyway, that's the anti-gravity Easter egg. Uh, it first appeared in 2.7 alpha 1, I think. Contains, oh no, get, get describe contains. Uh, 2.7 alpha 1, yeah. So that was the first, the first place in which this Easter egg appeared. Um, and it's still in Python 3 today. Anyway, hopefully this was interesting. If there are additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.